Hello everyone, my name is Red Samurai 13 Today I'm going to start, try to start a Let's Play on the Community Cube server. Uh, pretty much what we are is sort of a knockoff of Minecraft, but so far it's been a really good server. I've only been playing for a day or two. Got me a base of operations established. And today we'll be hooking up with Daba, Dimba and we'll be hunting down a blaze spawner so let's get my stuff ready and get on out there uh, pretty much as you can see like I said I've been playing for about two or three days Got me a small little place going on. Nothing great yet, but it's enough that it'll get me by until I can get up and do some of the bigger things. Oh, this looks like we'll be doing a break a little sooner than thought. <laughs> I guess in the meantime I'll show the place off. Uh, up here we have an EXP farm potion and enchanting now the XP farm is a spider crusher for cave spiders and a zombie drop for zombies both these are pretty fast at the moment we can get up have full level 50 within an hour and a half to hour 45 minutes and that's if you're screwing around not working as hard as you can In here we got a small nether farm. Ah, yeah, I'm doing that now. <laughs> uh, once this is done, I'm gonna have nether farm on both sides for easy collection. Since he's a fortress, crap, I forgot the minecart. <laughs> well, let's go get that. Alright, and along the way, let's see, down here, well, is a storage area for a bunch of crap, mainly cobble, dirt, extra items such as that. Of course, we gotta have an animal farm, or else we won't be able to get most of our necessities. Down there, I have a branch mining farm. It's not been the most fruitful effort yet, but it has turned up enough diamond that I can make some items. Down here, it's actually a multitude of farm. Melons. Ah, crap. I'll have to replace that. Oh, we got melons. We got wheat. Tree. Sugar cane. Now, this is one of the projects I have planned in the future is to expand. Make this a lot bigger. That way we can get everything set up and working a lot faster, a lot smoother. And of course we have my little home for right now. It's not much, but it helps keep my spawn, keep a few things, so we can get that taken care of. And again, that's another project. I'll work on that later. So, right now, I've actually got quite a few projects. 
The first being that I need to get this base set up completely. And it's going to take a little while to do that. Uh, if you're joining in with me, you can see and watch as I progress. There's actually two more spawners in here. There's a skeleton down that way. And another cave spider down there. And some slime chunks so we can gather slime balls. So I'm going to try to set that up as a trap as well. So let's see what he's talking about here. Yeah, apparently Yoke's cast made news. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's a good thing and about their dedication to Minecraft. Okay. Yeah. So originally this tunnel that I had here was down on level 42. So right now, it's almost 600, 700 blocks. It took over nine stacks of rail carts to make this go. And down at the bottom, at 42, I can only imagine how far it actually was. So, yeah, let's ride this out. Now, as I said, we are based off a of Minecraft server. So one of the things that our players did, our M&M fan actually, was try to base the hub off the Minecraft hub. And personally, I think he got it spot on. But then again, I haven't really seen a lot of the hub. So I'm not quite sure. For all I know, it could be... You know, it could look great from the way I'm seeing it, but it'd be completely different. And I'm going to beat me a penguin. Uh, put the blocks up. Alright. As you can see, it actually looks quite a bit like the Minecraft hub. It's an amazing piece of work that he'd done. I'm not sure if he just set it up based off of a pattern, you know, if he took a screenshot exactly how it came to be, but it does look good. So, we're going to go over to Danby, and we're going to help him with the blaze today. So, pretty much what he has is a mine rail like mine though he's still working on putting down the railing and along the way he ran into another fortress well, well I got exploring it the other day looking for nether wart and just so happens we found a blaze spawner so we're going to work at hopefully trapping that and this horribly laggy nether but once we get that, we should be able to get as many blaze, excuse me, blaze rods and EXP as we need. So let's see. He actually found the entrance that's pretty close to his portal, so we gotta go about all the way to get there. Let's hope there's no... Ah, he's already fenced it in. Good boy. So yeah, we're going to be taking on this today. Yeah, the gas seemed to be a problem out there. <clears throat> so 
while he's doing that, I'm gonna go kill a few blaze. I don't know if light will actually affect the spawner like it does in Top World, but he seems to think so, so I'm going to give it a try and see. Uh oh, this might be a short episode. <laughs> ah, crap, already one spawned. If for some reason some of the cussing does come through, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to be trying to edit these videos <laughs> to cut that out. Because I do have a bad habit of doing that. Resistance. That is, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Come on, Belize. Come at me, bro. I fear not. I don't think the, uh, dang, I don't think the torches are doing crap, well, maybe, nope, torches are definitely not doing crap, let's place a few more just in case. Miscellaneous fallouts, and maybe. Well, oh, I'll be a son of a gun. It actually does work. Well, since Danby is no longer online, and we're not going to be trapping this thing. I honestly have not the slightest clue how to make a trap. I right, nope, there's another. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and call this video and we'll pick it back up at a later time. Have a good one, guys.